My name is Allison Teal. Look at all these skeletons. Go and in. my passion is to dive into the unknown. And there's hot molten lava. It all started at a few weeks old when my legendary explorer parents decided to take me on all of their quests. <laughs> and now I've taken up the torch of adventure. Facing out of my off-the-grid retreat center in Hawaii, I journey to the remote and exotic corners of this wild world. Whoa. Teaming up with experts uh, and my ever-growing global family as I do whatever it takes Hoping that he, uh, doesn't strangle me. to unlock the greatest mysteries, myths, and legends on Earth. But during my quest, I couldn't ignore the growing global plastic crisis. And thus, I became the female Indiana Jones on a mission to save our world. I'm Allison Teal. I'm an adventure filmmaker, TV host, and conservationist. For this adventure, I'm setting off to the Middle East. Welcome to Jordan! With the Treadright Foundation and the real deal world changer, Celine Cousteau, granddaughter of the legendary explorer, Jacques Cousteau and we're joining forces to make waves of change across Jordan. Both Allison and I often get attributed with being ocean-specific activists, so it was quite funny to find ourselves ocean activists in the middle of the desert. Aloha! Being here in Jordan is an absolute dream come true. The discovery we made at Petra was shocking and valuable on a global scale. To enter Petra, you go through this beautiful canyon and it's very narrow and the cliffs jut up on either side of you, hundreds of feet tall, and make you feel humbled and small in the greater scheme of life and, and the world. And along the sides of the Seek are these waterways, which is what preserved life in this ancient city. And then suddenly you come around the last bend and whew, there's the treasury. It's huge, it's beautiful, it's got these pillars and these intricate carvings and it's 100% completely carved by human hands out of this sandstone rock. We made it to Petra! <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Walking around Petra with Allison was actually quite funny. She's been given the label of the female Indiana Jones and Allison's fully embraced it and gone forward with it as a communication tool. And that enthusiasm is contagious. And I think it's lovely to see somebody who doesn't have any barriers in approaching people. Well, I like uh, Alison, the American girl. She rides the horses and the mule and the donkey, and she do a racing with the kids here. I'm winning! I'm winning! I'm winning! It was really great to meet Abraham. He is a Bedouin from Petra. You know, we used to live here in the cave since like 900 years ago from a grand, grand, grandfather. In I these caves? Yeah, in those caves. We I born in a cave, actually. You were born in a cave? Really, I born in a cave. To enter Petra, one of the new seven wonders of the world, and see plastic bottles and bags just strewn everywhere was pretty devastating to me. It also makes you sick. It's bad for the area, bad for the humanity, bad for the animals, bad for many things. And we have to protect that, you know? It's not uncommon to see plastic pretty much everywhere around the globe. Jordan was no exception. What I was surprised is that there is no working recycling system. But it's not about attributing blame. It's about education and solutions. We're having a global plastic pollution crisis, and I think we can start here to really help in this magical wonder of the world. And I did my part with the villagers inside the city of Petra. We went around and we collected plastic water bottles, and there's these men that are janitors, and they're proud of what they do, and they walk around with their buckets and their brooms, and we all helped each other, and we came together, and we had a ball. They care, they care about protecting it. Alison talking about the rubbish and the plastic things and we really agree with her you know and we love what she say because we want our place to keep, come clean all the time and, and to look after it and thank her for that what she's saying you know. To have other women like Alison be part of crusaders who are trying to educate in an entertaining way is um, encouraging. It's going to take a, an army of warriors. We think about the future of our children. The more women who are out there as activists, whether it's on land or in the ocean, the better off we're going to be. Humankind is suffering from disconnect. People need to, to reconnect with nature. Go outside and frolic with Allison. 
We need a shift in global consciousness in our human understanding of each other, of our cultures, of the stake that we have in this planet, then we will start behaving like a global human tribe. We say Bedouin strong as desert, soft as sand, move as the wind, forever free. This is the Bedouin motto. Their survival depends on protecting the nature that sustains them. These are the people of ancient times. This is where we've come from. And if we can learn from them how to protect our planet and protect ourselves, then we can share this wisdom before it's lost forever. We can share these traditions before they disappear into the sands of time. The stories that happen here in Jordan are global and the solutions can be as well. And we can find inspiration in small projects that can then be amplified across the planet. I hope everyone adventures to Jordan and gets involved with the Treadright Project. Because when you make travel matter, it not only betters the world, but I believe it's the secret to happiness. Vacations and Luna World River Cruises for this once-in-a-lifetime travel experience.